So basically, uh, every morning, join us so I can read you a Bible chapter. This little, this little bad boy here is the random Bibleizer. Huh? I don't. Whoever made this, I gotta. We gotta. We gotta give them a shout out. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta hook them up. I, I gotta put this thing in the link. The link in the description. But uh, let's go ahead and do it. Three, two, one. Second John one. You guys ready for this? Two John one. From the church leader. To the to the chosen lady and her children who I whom I love because we share the truth. I'm not the only one who loves you. Everyone who knows the truth also loves you. We love you because of the truth, which lives in us and will be with us forever. Goodwill, mercy, and peace will be with us. They come from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, who in truth and love is the Father's Son. I was very happy to find some of your children living in the truth as the Father has commanded us. Dear lady, I'm now requesting that we continue to love each other. It's not as though I'm writing to give you a new commandment. Rather, from the beginning, we were commanded to love each other. Love means that we live by doing what he commands. Doing what he commands. We were commanded to live in love. And you have heard this from the beginning. Many people who deceive others have gone into the world. They refuse to declare that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and blood. This is the mark of a deceiver and an antichrist. Be careful that you don't destroy what you've worked for, what we've worked for, but that you receive your full reward. Everyone who doesn't continue to teach what Christ taught doesn't have God. The person who continues to teach what Christ taught as both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and doesn't bring these teachings, don't take him into your home or even greet him. Whoever greets him shares the evil things he's doing. I have a lot to write to you. I would prefer not to write a letter. Instead, I hope to visit and talk things over with you personally. Then we will be completely filled with joy. The children of your chosen sister greet you. Man, is that just, that just, there is so much here. This one chapter, this one chapter in the entire, in the entire Bible, ladies and gentlemen, puts to bed any of the man-made philosophies and doctrines that you've heard from your church. This one chapter. I say praise Yahuwah, the Most High. That's that. This this is this is a g great way to start it off, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you guys for joining me. That was your random Bible chapter of the day.